Hey there, puzzlers. My name is Fleb. I'm a puzzle designer, and today I want to show you a very interesting puzzle. One that seems very simple on the surface, but is actually very complex. It's called Bitten Biscuits. It was designed by Jin Huan, and it was an honorable mention at last year's Nob Yoshikahara Puzzle Design Competition. The entire puzzle is these three pieces on the table, and the object is to make a symmetrical shape. A symmetric shape is one that would look the same on both sides of these do this dotted line. Now that's very unusual for a puzzle. I've never seen a puzzle with that sort of end goal before. There are a lot of different ways that the pieces can go together, and finding the only two solutions to this is quite difficult. After the spoiler break, I'll show you what they are. <laughs> The way to go about solving this puzzle is to notice that these two pieces are pretty similar to each other. They both have this inset cut that is the same on both sides. So we really want these to be one on either side of this symmetrical line. And then this one, if we put it on one side or the other, doesn't really work so we know it has to somehow bridge the two. That's a nice point of symmetry for it so let's see if we can build off of that. Trying to build off that symmetrical aspect of this piece doesn't really work for this puzzle. There's not enough room to fit things inside. However, this side is also symmetrical and gives you a lot more room. This is what leads to both solutions. The first solution looks like this. The puzzle is exactly symmetric on both sides of the line. We're using this long axis of symmetry in the third piece, and we fit the other two in. The other solution has the bottom two pieces swapped and rearranged to look like this. I think this is a very unusual puzzle and was a lot of fun to take a look at, to try out, and to solve. I've been in contact with the designer of this puzzle and he said he still has a few available, so I've put his email in the description if you'd like to contact him and buy one. If you're interested in more puzzle content, please subscribe below. Thank you very much for watching everyone, and happy puzzling!